Hi Bruce from Safari and here we are day two. So 48 hours after we started this and we've got the solar is pumping in. The batteries are down to 9%. I'm going to show more of that on the YouTube video. Uh, the aircon's on, it's running. You can also hear the fan there running. Uh, the compressor's just turned off as I'm in here. We've got it set now at uh, 21 still. Um, it's early in the morning, but the solar, uh, it's a bit overcast, but you can see the solar here is up to 635 watts already. It's uh, pumping in the power into the batteries. We now run for a total of uh, 48 hours, non-stop, running the aircon in this, in this van. And we're running with a total of, uh, we've got 600 amp hours there that you can see running. And we've got another 200 amp hours over here, and we've got the inverter charger up here. So just to recap, we did remove uh, this equipment from it, so it, uh, the zone uh, ships with uh, 300 amp hours of lithium and a 3000 watt inverter and uh, quite a small solar controller. And uh, we upgraded that from 300 to 800 amp hours of lithium, uh, the inverter from 3000 to 6000 and the solar controller from, I'm not sure what size it is, but it's upgraded now where it will deliver up to 2000 watts off the roof. Um, so let's have a look now at the summary for the last two days. So this is the overall summary data down here. We started off at 100% state of charge. The curve below here, the simple curve below here is the solar yield. So you can see here that the solar came in on both days, came in and out. And here we are now at the end of the period. Uh, we've got an hour to go until nine o'clock. And uh, you can see here the state of charge. So over this period of time, the batteries have gone uh, down to 10%. Now by, I'm just gonna click on our advanced settings here. And in our advanced settings here, we will now see the state of charge. So it was at 100 here. And over the two day period, it's now gone down to 10%, uh, 9.2, 9% right now. And um, what we're gonna look at here is this is the inverter output current. So this is running the air con. So you can see that at the beginning of this test two days ago when we turned it on, the power went high and pretty much remained high as I've said. So that's from 9.05, stayed high until uh, 3.50, nearly four o'clock. So for seven hours, a little slight dip in the middle there, but not much. It stayed on there for seven hours solid and it was producing on average there just uh, on 9.55 watts, I think. So it's solid. So that's really giving the system a hard time. And then it cycles on and off as it's getting cooler in the afternoon. Cooler cycles a bit, and then in the wee hours of the morning, it's off because our temperature here, we've got it set at 21, and the temperature overnight was at 21. And then on uh, yesterday, it cut on in the morning. And then have a look, so yesterday the batteries are now down to 50% as we showed yesterday. There it is up there in the top of the screen. And uh, the aircon came on, but have a look at this. Came on at 9 o'clock and the aircon stayed on solidly until pretty much, uh, there it is there, till uh, 3.30. So we had six and a half hours of a constant aircon draw because yesterday was very hot and very, very humid. So I think in the day there, it was around 32, where we had it parked, 32, 33. No air at all, no breeze. Uh, it was the type of weather where you needed the air con. And then it cycled again last night. And then again last night, the temperature dropped here and uh, it didn't operate at all. And now this morning, it's running again. And now the batteries are down to 9%. So we can see here in the bottom, and we can see the state of charge is dropping. This bottom one here is the battery voltage, and you can see the battery voltages. When the solar kicked in this morning, it uh, it lifted a little bit. It actually, the state of charge, the battery went up to 10% for a bit there, briefly. Uh, but it's currently an overcast day here. It's not good weather for solar. Now, people out there will say, well, will 10% ruin the batteries? Are we ruining the whole system here going to a low state of charge? And that's one of the purposes of this video. And the answer is no, we're not. And why? And the reason why we're not is because these are CAN bus lithium batteries. And on CAN bus lithium batteries, um, the battery itself sends out the amount of charge or discharge that's allowed. 
So if you have a look here at, um, at midnight last night, uh, the batteries were saying you can discharge me at 100 amps and charge me at 100 amps. So uh, 5.3 kilowatts charge or discharge. In fact, it'll do a bit more than that on the discharge. Um, but the charge is 100. Then as the SOC, as the state of charge is dropping, the batteries are telling the inverter, now it's telling it don't discharge more than 80. Now it's saying don't discharge more than 60. Then it's saying don't discharge more than 40. Don't discharge more than 25 amps. And once it went to 10%, uh, don't discharge more than 20. Little blip there when we had some solar it went up briefly to 21.4 and right now it's saying don't discharge more than 20. And 20 amps times 53 volts that you'll see there is the limit is roughly a thousand watts. So we can still take a thousand watts out and the battery's saying I'm fine. Now I know that this battery voltage at the moment is 46.63. I know that in fact our safety limit, if you wish, is 46.2. I want to say safety limit, our normal operating limit. So it'll drop to 46.2. And we are within the 6,000 cycle count that's in the warranty on this battery. Yes, 6,000 cycle count. And we can go down to 46.2. So we are not concerned in the slightest at what this battery voltage is. Um, it will run today until 9 and then we can put into it 100 amps of charge and uh, fully run the system. Now we're going to look at a remarkable feature of Victron. So here the uh, aircon's running at about 4 amps at 240 volts, so that's uh, pretty close to 950 watts, then it's off. And then watch this aircon start up. Now most of you are aware that when an induction motor like an aircon start, it takes a surge in power. In uh, this aircon case, it takes uh, more than four times the normal power. And so in the start up from here to there, at that point there, 18.4 amps at uh, 233 volts is uh, 4.22 kilowatts. So at even 9% state of charge with the batteries really down low in voltage, this Victron system, because we've got a 6,000 watt inverter, the 6,000 watt inverter takes the 4.22 just in its stride, uh, just doesn't miss, miss a beat. And then the aircon then is running. It's, um, this is just a remarkable example of the quality of the Victron gear and a remarkable example of a complete trustworthy system from the batteries to the inverter. So we've now run for the entire two days. I'll put these two on the screen. We've gone from 100 down to the 9% here um, comfortable with the batteries, we've got the solar, we've got a cloudy day unfortunately today, not getting as much in right now. Uh, we've had the aircon pumping on both days for six to seven hours continuously, no break at all, which is unusual and that's because of the heat. And I would say this is just an outstanding performance. Now, how does this customer then, with this uh, van, now fully recover the van to operate for the next two days? And this customer's got a Ford F250, and in that Ford F250, he's got a Scotty. And what will happen now, by plugging in the Ford F250 into the van, it will then charge the van at up to 1.7 kilowatts and uh, fully get this uh, van back up, get the batteries back up overnight. So we'll be able to um, uh, get these batteries back up and, uh, and have them fully charged uh, by just plugging it into the vehicle overnight. And then when the vehicle drives the next day, uh, the vehicle will um, fully replenish. So this is a story of a combination of using the vehicle to replenish, but here this is showing you that the van standalone will run for this period of time. So if you didn't drive your vehicle in two days, you can still run your aircon and then uh, plug your vehicle in and it will uh, recover. So it will actually, while it's charging, it will at the same time run the aircon. Yeah, as incredible as it sounds, it'll actually do both. How good's that?